In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to create a company code in SAP S4N system. My name is Noon and I help companies to implement technologies with SAP products since 2001. My uh, background is the financial area of SAP. The aim of this channel is, is to share SAP knowledge. Please subscribe this channel as we are uh, posting videos on a weekly basis. This video, it will see three phases. Phase one, we are going to create the company code. Phase two, we are going to rename the company code. Phase three, we are going to see the global data of the company code, what we should a tick and tick and what we should and what is that that is important for the next steps and for the next videos. So to, to make the things happening, I need to enter in my session of uh, SAP S4ANA to create the company code by um, sharing my screen and we'll go through the system. We are already here. Hopefully you are seeing my screen. Uh, this is the SAP menu here. I can find, for example, uh, transaction codes to post uh, documents to see master data, but to create a company code is not in this area. So we go to the transaction codes SPRO, okay, and then we create reference, click reference to the IMG, enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, and edit copy a company code. So normally we create a company code always from a copy. In this case, I'm going to create a company code from a copy of a country template. But if you are in a client that you need to create a new company code and the SAP is already live, normally what we do, we get the company code uh, created that is most used or most similar to that one and we copy from that one. So we are going to have much, much less work during the, the configuration of the company code. But in our case, we are doing a full lifecycle implementation project uh, with this video. So in, in our case, we are going to use the company code 1010, which is the global template for Germany. And I'm going to give the naming convention of D99 because the from the country code 99 does not exist yet. Uh, if it exists, I cannot create one that already exists. So D99, normally this is defined during the blueprint phase. So when you reach to this point, you know already how to do it. The first message uh, that is saying that if I'm going to use the same um, the, the same um, chart of accounts, which is the case, do I want to copy the company codes, the, the jail accounts? I will say yes, of course, because I don't want to create jail accounts. But when we are in a project, uh, normally we we have uh, the the own the own chart of accounts and the own company codes and then we if we are doing from the beginning we have to say no but if you are in the client where you are copying from uh, a, a company code that already exists in the system you're going to say the chart of accounts the chart of accounts and jail accounts are the same you're going to say yes Second part is the same thing. For me, I'm going to copy, but if you are doing something from the scratch, you are not going to copy the controlling area. But if you are in a client that are doing something similar as I am doing, copying from another company code, I'm going to accept this. Next part is saying, next message is saying, uh, the company code uh, currency, okay? Of course, is zero. I'm going to say is the different is a different currency. No, this is what he's asking. I'm going to say no, and the, I will accept as a euro as the company code currency. Okay, and then this is normal. This message, this message is normal, and now we are going to go for the 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 message that we want to number ranges. I would advise to to choose always this and then change it after. Uh, I'm going to say yes, and this will take a while. Now I'm going to pause the video and then we come back uh, before I create the, the, the transport requests. So then you can see it, how to do it. This time, this action is going to take quite a while. Therefore, we are going to pause the video. 
Now we have finished everything, uh, and then I I need to create the transport requests. If I'm going to see, I don't have any transport requests yet, so I need to create one to store the the configuration as I did. Uh, so I'm going normally. Uh, there is naming conventions if you are in a client that you should uh, populate uh, as a short description. But here we don't have, I'm going to put uh, D99 SAP for all. So, because this is a uh, system test, uh, testing system, we, we are not going to choose any project. There is no projects. If you are in a client, you need to talk with the release management to understand what are the projects that you need to put here to move this then to other systems, this configuration. This means that normally we have a development system where we do all the configuration and then we move for, for other systems for testing. So now it's creating the, the is recording the, the company code, it's done. So now, okay, and we, F the company code created. Now we have our company code uh, done. We can see that we have copied this data from that one. The phase two of this video is to rename the company code. And then we have the, the most important one, phase three. So stay until the end. Now we go to rename our company codes. So we have created the D99. We double click and then here we are going to rename the company code. So our company code is going to be called SAP for all. The seat is going to be uh, Frankfurt. Frankfurt and then the country called is Germany, currency euro, language. Uh, we can make it as um, English, okay? So now I'm going to save the company codes. And then again, now I have a, a, a request, so I don't need to create another one. I'm going to, if we see, I have this request, I'm going to save inside of this request. If I show you again, here is what we have done already, okay? So, but I want to save inside of that request, on the request, I'm going to save. Now, as if, as we finish the step number two, uh, the phase two, so we first we create the company code, we rename our company code. Now we are going to see the global data of the company code. If you are enjoying the video, please make a like on the video. Uh, if you have never created a company code and you are going to do it, please leave your comments. And then uh, if you have not subscribed yet, please uh, subscribe the channel so you can help the channel to, to reach to other people. Now, as we finished, we go to the financial accounting, financial accounting global settings. And then inside we have entered global company, key, company code parameters. So again, we are going to search our company code, which is D99. And then we double click to go inside and see the settings. So here we have something that we cannot change, company codes and uh, country, key, country key and uh, currency. The language, if you remember, we decided uh, English. And then uh, we decided the, the city would be Frankfurt. Chart of accounts, YCOA, we copied. And then we also copied, uh, we are also using the country chart of accounts. This is the group chart of accounts. For example, the headquarters uh, would be in Paris, for instance. This would be the group chart of accounts. And here is the country chart of accounts, what we have to report to, do, to the tax authorities. So we use uh, uh, this two chart two chart, chart of accounts. Here normally uh, we are going to create in the next video um, uh, is the company say company, but in reality this is the trading partner. What is the trading partner? Is when you have uh, um, 
intercompany um, billing or intercompany, imagine that you buy to someone that is from other country and is the same company code, and then you define um, trading partners. So then you know what is the volume of business that you do within that trading partner. That means the, the company code from the group. Here, we are not going to put anything because we will create our trading partner. Uh, this is the controlling area that, that came. And then the, um, the fiscal year variant is to define uh, the posting periods. Document entry per variant uh, is number two. We are going to keep it. We are not going to change. Uh, it means that uh, if we are working with, with all the impacts for vendors, we need to choose this number two, which is going to be our, our case. Field stats group variant, it also, it also was also copied. We are going to see later how, what, what is behind all this. Posting period variant is also, we are going to use the same, but it's to open and close periods. We are going to see also later. Normal here, we use 5%, uh, the derivation. And then uh, workflow variants, I'm going to remove. I'm not going to implement workflow. And then uh, here we have two by default, but I want to show uh, what is two is uh, cross company code cost accounting. So basically here we should also put some ticks. I'm going just to have a look as I think I have here a system open. Okay, we can use the proposed fiscal year. Um, default value date so it's going to to give me the default value date when i'm posting a document and then uh, no exchange rate difference when clearing we can use this one as well and then um, i'm going to choose this option enable amount split because i want to go for the the part of the document split and we leave it as it is now we save uh, when what's one more topic we have this to this uh, tab here additional data so it's not doing anything in uh, sap s4 version. so i'm going to show you where you can go to the to the additional data so we have saved our changes i'm going back back one more and then it's there maintain additional parameters so now this is where we, we maintain the additional data. It's, it's here. So D99, and then this is where we maintain the additional parameters. So all of this, all of this went by copy of the, the other company code. I can, for instance, delete everything in my company code. I don't need to have this. Save. So now you know how to create a new company code in SAP s uh, The next video you can find in the description of, the, of this video. And again, thanks for watching and staying until the end. And I see you in the next video.